बिस्मिल्लाहिर्रहमानिर रहीम दिस इज माय लास्ट लेक्चर ऑन एयरपोर्ट इंजीनियरिंग एंड टुडे टॉपिक इज फार फील्ड सॉफ्टवेयर एक्चुअली दिस सॉफ्टवेयर इज डिजाइंड टू एक्चुअली दिस सॉफ्टवेयर इज अवेलेबल टू डिजाइन द रनवे सीवे और एफरेट पेमेंट एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज हाउ इट वर्क हाउ यू कैन डिजाइन ए रनवे पेमेंट और एनी एयरपोर्ट पेमेंट यूजिंग दिस सॉफ्टवेयर सो इट्स वेरी इजी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेन वेन एवर यू ओपन द सॉफ्टवेयर यू विल हैव दिस विंडो इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू सो विल विल गो वन बाय वन uh the first thing is the you know very simple you have to write the job name so for instance we say lecture 10b i can write and i say it's in runway pavement just write it then uh, obviously uh, there are many ways that we can design a pavement uh, there are different types of the pavement uh, but uh, the focus of this course uh, and then uh, we can say the scope of this course is we will only design the rigid pavement using this software rigid airport pavement so you have to select this pavement type and as you can see there are different options so i will go for new digit that's it now once you go to the new digit then there are different default layers that are available now in this digit uh, this software you need to do two things one to select your material and secondly to uh, to input your airport or to input your aircraft data uh, so what you can do is since this is a rigid pavement so the first layer should be pcc surface and it can be any pcc surface so if you want to know how much how other pcc surface you just have to click uh, this window or, and if you like it's scroll it like this so this is the pavement section uh, that is given to you and what you need to do it has got three layers it's a pcc surface it's an uh, rested on hma stabilized base and then the crush aggregate base and, and last but not least is the subject now if you would not to know how uh, you can have it's a rigid pavement so the top layer should be pcc but there can be different type of pcc so you would want to know uh, if you want to know how what are those you just have to click like this and you see there option windows are available to you uh, it can be a pcc overlay and bordered that pcc is a pcc overlay or flex so obviously since we are designing pcc so we are not going to do anything with it we say uh, we just says this is cancel uh, for the time being but the first layer is okay with us now if i ask you uh, if i say okay this pcc surface is should to be laid on a lean concrete so what i can do is to select click on here again now i'm talking about my base and say i will select the lean concrete so just have to select if you can see that blue button uh, i've selected that blue and then i say I say add layer for the time being. I say add layer above to that, and that's that lean concrete layer is now added. Now what I can do here as well that I don't need these two layers. I say that my PCC surface should be rested on lean concrete, and then it should be rested on something. There's no other layer. So for me. i don't require this layer so what i need to do is to delete this layer 
right? So what will I do? You just press that window again and say delete layer. So that layer is now deleted. Again, there is one more extra layer, and that is PCC crash aggregate low. And that too, I don't want. So I will make to select it and say delete layer. And that's okay. So this is how my material now look like. Just if I scroll to uh, on the left side, I will find now that I have got PC surface uh, having 14 inch thickness. Now this is also a trial thickness. You can have any thickness, and you know when you run the software, the software autom automatically give you the required thickness. Now. Uh, if uh, if you have given a modulus of uh, actual modulus of 650 psi, then you can write 650 psi or any other value. So first test, I say I have concrete of 600 psi. So see what is happening. I'm going to just write it at 600. I say no. If if I want to change. That clean concrete, I say, okay, uh, my PC surface should be laid on, uh, say, six inch concrete. So my I'll write six inch clean concrete. Uh, now about the subgrade, I what I can do is either I can write that MR, say. Uh, resident modulus or K modulus, we already know. For instance, I say my K is 10,000. So I can change this and I say, so this is my resident modulus on date on this. Uh, this resident modulus of modulus of rigidity K, you know that equation uh, 1500 CP over 27, R20 over uh, something. And then I say K, my K which should be 150, then I write. So this is all with the material level. And one thing more is, if I want to design my payment, say for 12 years or 15 years, so I can change that 15 years. Well, this is how you, okay, they say it shouldn't be 15 years, so I say, okay, it, it should be 25 years. The standard design life is 20 years, 1 to 50 allowed. So I would like, so he's this says it says 25. What if I say okay? How oh, why is not working like this? In 10 years, what happens? It's not allowing us for 20 years. I'm sorry. So it's allowed 10 years. Now this is what the material library is. First I uh, I'm satisfied with the material. The next thing I'm going to do is to input my draft data. Uh, you can see on your left, the bottom of the left, there is an option for aircraft. So what I go do is click that aircraft and then I have different types of aircraft available to me. I'll say, if you like, say, generate, it's like this. Then there are Airbus, there is Boeing, there's McDonald's, there's general aviation, even if you can design a uh, military uh, runway from that as well. Uh, so first says, uh, I have uh, aircraft Boeing, and I say that's 737 so I will select that uh, aircraft from here. And once I select it, I will get this. Now, I, I must have the weight that is also always known to you as a payment engineer. What type of aircraft will be using your airport or your runway? So you, you know accordingly and what what is their maximum takeoff weight? Um, how many of them will departure uh, uh, annually? So we, we know all this data. For instance. If I say my Boeing 737, that will be here using my payment, will have 100,000 gross weight 
and it will it will use say five thousand departure. So that's it. If I want to say add another aircraft, say Airbus, and I say okay, aircraft must be added. So I just have to click, right click twice. Now here, I say it may have a weight of three hundred thousand, and it will depart as seven fifty. So I just write it seven fifty. That's it. So this is how uh, you can input your aircraft. And once you know, if if you know, if you are in a region uh, where you know that only specific aircraft will be used, so you can make your own library. Say, okay, these are the, my aircraft, and I can use it for future as well. So I just say save the aircraft mix to the file, and there's a library always open to you. I say, okay, this is my UE213 example two library. So you say U E two one three example. You can always save and in case for instance, uh, for instance, to a Y it's open, and then you can always get it from there. So if I say stored, for example, uh, I'm. I have the library like this. Previously, when I clicked UA two with me, all my aircraft that I you know used before will be there. And then if I use this, so, so this is how you can always go like this. Now, once you have done this, now the software is very easy. All now you need to do is to run the run the software. That's it. So, uh, one thing is that the extended library, so you can have different aircraft library as well. Okay. So once you do this thing, now you only have to run the software that you will. Just run it and wait for the thing, and it will give you the final thickness. That's it. Very easy. You know, if you know that software, you can design and rigid pavement, runway rigid pavement uh, within within minutes. So it depends. The running time depends upon your processor, as well as how uh, how many data you are actually the aircraft data because different. Type of aircraft have different configuration, and the software try to optimize that configuration. So oh, that's it. Okay, so your final thickness design is this uh, surface twelve point nine inches, beam concrete six inches, and that's it. Now, another thing you would do is now the next thing is to have a report. For that, you go to the explorer. The explorer is on the left side, and then you can from the explorer you know this. You can say what is the summary report first. You can put that. This is the summary report. This is your pavement section having a total thickness of 18.9 inches. It has a design life of 10 years, and it has got at least this much aircraft like this, and it has this final section. Right? Then you can have different section report as well. Uh, since we have uh, the same section, we have selected so this very uh, obvious to you now. This is the April function. There is another additional pair that you have done. And then this is the final session. All now you, you have saved as a PDF 
and then what you can do is always take the print out and that's it so uh, uh, let me save it for future use i usually have this ue2 and the covid 19 data with me and i say okay lecture and recording save so this is for that uh, so that's it my uh, students uh, this is all my course just to remind you that uh, we i will take two more quizzes related to the planning and design of airport and uh, also your the course outline for the final exam is from lecture 6 to lecture 10. Uh, thank you very much.